I would say, like, Germany is actually doing very well for itself. In terms of just, like, raw troop count, I don't know how they are being so successful. Also, oh, we did not uh, succeed in our mission here. Uh, land Doctrine, let's go, boom, Grand Assault, that's gonna be more Breakthrough, happy to see it. Naval Invasions, Caribbean, not really too worried about that. If Japan were to go to war with Germany, I'd be happy with that. You have, you have plenty of bonuses on right now. Actually, no, you have river crossing penalties on. That's actually pretty good for you. If some units moving their way around. Again, you really should... Like, if you can just focus on winning the war in Europe, and then after that, bring troops down south. Also, you do want to go up to war economy. Boom, done. Uh, win the war in Europe, and then you can move the troops down south, Okay. To me, that seems completely, completely reasonable. Also, take one level excavation. CNT is not dead yet. And apparently, the French tried to land their way into Marseille. They did end up dying there, though, so we're happy about that development. Please attack Germany. Germany needs a second front line right now. A one, a one versus one with the international Germany, it's just... It's, it's too Germany favored for me to be happy with. You'll have free click of war on QQ land, that's okay. I will import one more steel. There we go, now we're happy. Give you one more steel. Again, you, you, the Ukrainian state should basically completely collapse. You're now in the Reich's path. Apparently the Ottomans actually, or not the Ottomans, uh, Iran lost at some point. And you're still in the war. Yeah, non-aggression pack with you. Um. Freud's fallen. That's okay. For right now. Yeah, I'm looking for supply depots. I mean, it's basically all we need. We need to block away towards the capital. In order to even get anything else here done. 8%. It reinforces a brand new unit. Son of a bitch. Okay, we did take this province. Which means we should be able to now push our way into you, which is... We're attacking from two different provinces. There's still, fi There's still five units. Five units to fed in that position. Well, we might we might want to get our way into the, the dry docks and try to do like a naval invasion somewhere in the north. Again, we just need to split up... We need, we need to split up Brazilian resistance, right? 66 divisions on this line. It's, it's, we only have 22 men. Uh, deploy, deploy you. How many more guns do we have? We have enough guns. Okay. Deploy you up north. Push your way here. QQ land, we got another aggression pack with you. I mean, I'm sure you're gonna die soon. Yeah, more organization, more attack. Alright, again, are you moving towards us or away from us? You're you're still coming here. I mean the front line here I think's not budged an inch, other than what's happening in, in uh Netherlands. Mostly been stable. But if we can get Ukraine, White Ruthenia, Baltic State, I, I don't think Lithuania is uh, revolting, unfortunately. George Rogers, yeah, we, we just need Russia to do well. Transmere, don't attack Russia. I, I, I need them to, you know, do their own thing. Industry, give me excavation too. Like, if we can defeat Brazil, that's going to be, like, such a major base that we can use for... Uh, for units in the future. It's going to be really, really nice. 
59 on you. We have another supply depot up in Goyaz. And us I mean, if we could take here... I'm pretty sure none of these troops have supplies. So I'm gonna push my way up in that direction. Move up north. Guys, the thing is, like, there's just, there's just so many. If I put military police in, do we even have enough support equipment for that? We do. Pressure goes away, uh, 20%. There we go. They need some manpower and equipment, I think. Again, just more military factories. I, I, I need them. You want to actually counter what you guys are doing. Yeah, but this is definitely... I mean, we're close to Goyaz. And once Goyaz falls... I'm actually going to put in military police just a little bit more. We immediately go to 1940. We want floating harbors. And I think we'll deploy these units as soon as we possibly can. Thank you for the population boost. But I want also... Railroads. First, they want to move their way up now. Don't turn on night and day. Do not turn on night and day mode, please. Could upgrade you? I, I mean... I guess give me the flat 10% attack on you, and then you... Give me the attack as well. There we go. There's some nice little bonuses where we can get them. Pants gonna warn in China, not a big deal for us. Are you moving? Yes. So you do want to keep the attack there going at least a little bit longer. Somehow Russia can't beat Ukraine, even though Ukraine literally I don't think has an army. They have one division. I mean I'm sure it's full of German troops. Like, come on now. Finland's doing okay. Are you guys also moving? No, I don't think so. Deploy you. I'm gonna cancel the next row. And I want you in this army. And I know, okay, Japan's not at war with Germany. Happy to see that. Maybe it'll distract them in some way. Russia is at war with Transmute, which is really freaking annoying. Because it means that Russia's gonna have to split their forces way more than I would like them to. And are you I mean yeah, you're you're fighting down here. You do need to take Azerbaijan, Georgia. As soon as you can kill them killed, Russia will have more troops to deploy up north. There's the Garrisons. I think you're mostly ass. I mean, you will get me a. Uh, you got us closer to a research slot. Land Doctrine. Your research bonuses. Give me Urban Development. Ah! Yes. We may be able to get some more factories out of this. Japan, we will do a non aggression pact with you. We want you going up. And actually, what we probably want to do is for you upgrade railroads. Something like this. Yeah, upgrade your railroads as well. Lithuania, you beautiful, beautiful bastard. Helping me out now in a pinch. I want you going here. I need you guys to last stand for a quick second. Veal this uprising. Very, very happy to see that. I think the AI kind of maybe knows what we're up to. There we go, Lithuania. 
Counteract against Belarus. You have a direct front line with Germany. They might start pulling troops away. I mean, if they, if they can, I mean, they can, they could join up with the um, with Russia and their faction. And I think that would be nice for us. The railroad's on their way. We have defended here decently enough. Red Army, again, you just need to stay where you're at. Hail invasions. Nah, it's not good, but... It's also not really bad. Should be with the railroad I want. You moving your way on these two infantry divisions right now. And again, like, we are making progress, right? I don't, I don't think anybody can deny that we're making... What, what the hell are you... No, keep fighting? No. No, you know, just stay still. I don't know the hell I'm trying to get you to do. We see that your supply is trying to dwindle here as well. Construction. Again, pause. You can read it. We have 6,000 rifles. I'm going to go with... Four infantry for now. That's gonna fill uh, completely fill out blue line. Again, we want to take this. It's gonna be more supplies for us, and more importantly, less supplies for Brazil. They have fallen back. One of you stay back to defend here. Urban development's okay. I mean, I think we are slowly, slowly thinning out Brazilian resistance. Free trade. Is it, is it beneficial to me anymore? I'd have to... I think the answer is... How many factories are we even getting from trade? Three? I think we will go back to export focus. They might do the factory on steel? I don't know. No, the, an the answer is not really. Okay. So I now need you to connect your way here. Build that up immediately. And these railroads that did get... You're actually not connected by... You're connected by C. I don't know if that makes a huge difference, but just in case it does, I will connect you by railroad. Yeah, just like that for now. And again, you should start running out of supplies very, very soon. Are you being attacked from this position? Yes, you are. You need to attack this guy as well. Um, again, yeah, again, we have like no air forces. Maybe I should probably be building planes. Building factories for 40 political power. Absolutely. I think factories for political power is always, always a good trade. Hey, Flanders, you want to go to war with Germany? I, I know it makes no sense for you to want to do that, but, like, if you hypothetically were to do it regardless, wouldn't be upset. Let me just, let me just put it that way. Would not be, would not be upset. Again, you are still not connected to capital. Why are you, wait, why are you not connected to capital? You should be. I mean, could it be because you've been recently captured? I mean, I can I can see the pathway. Again, I want railroads being built ASAP. Maybe it's still going to take a few days. Let's just wait on it for a second before we jump to conclusions. And again, there's nothing really in this area. I mean, we can move our way straight all the way up to go take some ports in the north. But I, I don't think... I think we've, we've gone north enough. Our next task... Should be, I believe... Hold position here for a second... Our next task... Okay, you now have supplies. Our, our next task, I think, should be getting an army here? Pushing away to Rio de Janeiro. Right? Like, does that make sense, everybody? Makes sense to me. 
And you have three. I would still like to take the supply depot from you. I do know that the international is pulling troops away from here, which I completely understand why they'd want to do that. Honestly, don't even attack. What you're doing right now should be okay. I think. Industrialized, communist, expand. That's a lot of military factories. If we can get like a lot of political power, we can get a lot of factories built quickly. Infrastructure. I mean, that's it's okay. But, and I don't think you have any more. You're 25. 25 30. You know what? I'll take it. And we're actually making progress here. Which I'm actually very happy with. I do think the north needs to stay. I think the north right now is okay. Again, I, I want to move troops in this position. We're probably gonna make you into a whole new army. Not even gonna put you in blue arm. Not even put you in blue. Probably make like a green army. Barcelona is still holding out. A few territories have been taken by the Germans, but again, nothing too wild, right? Not not nothing that's game ending for us. How bad are their supplies, by the way? Yeah, like not good. Whole position. Did I have you said that? I think I said these two guys to train by accident. I think I said the entire army to train. Maybe. Whoops. <laughs> and we're getting our railroads here. Again, capturing like these two areas would be really nice for us. But also would be building ourselves a supply depot like right in this province. It looks like we will capture you. And if we could theoretically move here, capture uh, San Marina, cut Uruguay off from uh, Brazil, I think would have some nice benefits to it. Honestly, you know what? Pull out, pull out. Don't even be in these, these two areas. I honestly don't think do anything for us. Just stay right now in the south. How many guns do we have? 4,000. How many guns are we making per day? We're making 100. One militia unit uses 500. So that, that's only five days per unit. You're militia two. You're a little bit more expensive. Give me some militia threes as well. And I want them right here. Excavation one's done. It'll be gone in two days. Again, there's nothing really up there that we need to concern ourselves with. That's that's why I don't think we need to be up there. Give me a uh, 1940 artillery upgrades. And you're still retreating, right? In three days. God, it takes it takes so long to move anywhere in the Amazon rainforest. Who who would have thought, right? Okay, well, we have taken this supply hub. It's not connected to our capital. We can easily connect it, though. It's just going to be... Yeah, just like that. And that's only going to take, like, two days. Okay, keep moving troops along. Vilnius has fallen. Okay, so that's going to be Lithuania falling. But that's completely okay. And this will be connected in just a second. Again, and then we're going to take San Marina. Barcelona. Okay, so CNT is dead. Not that big of a deal. Give me more industrialization, please. I mean, once you're done. Spare ship, submarines, navy experience. But we can't even do this actually, because we've already we already own a uh, Buenos Aires. Um So I think we kind of, we, we might honestly choose to not do any focus. Just so we get even more political power and I can get as many factions as we possibly can. Oh, 
I, I, I don't want you here. Like, I know it's hard for you guys to comprehend, but I don't want you in this area. But we do have a new gen 